we have a sum from NCRT 1.25 for engineering graphics 12th standard draw an isometric pro projection of a vertical regular pentagonal pyramid resting centrally having one of its base edge away from the observer and parallel to VP so one of the side of the pentagon is parallel to VP but it is away from the observer so it will be nearer to VVP and on top of a and it is on a top of a vertical cylinder side of the pentagon is given 32 mm height of the pyramid is 50 mm diameter of the cylinder is 76 mm and height of the cylinder is 40 mm so first we will start with scale now in this maximum length is 50 so I will draw 0 to 40 and 0 to 10 see so they have given di uh, diameter 76 so radius would be how much 38 right so we can take that way so no need to draw full scale but if you want to draw you, you can go up till 70 also if you want to take 76 in one shot then so now first we'll start with the helping figure now in helping figure we will start with pentagonal pyramid and they have said one side is parallel to VP and nearer to VP or I can say away from observer so I will draw a pentagon same method you draw a line and we take 54 54 right you take 54 54 you get a center this angle is 54 54 right and you draw a circle from this point then you take this side cut on both the sides again cut on both the sides it should come in this line only so this is pentagon helping figure what we will do we will convert this helping figure into lbh right so this is length this is breadth that way we can do it now before that what we need to draw first first we need to draw a cylinder so what we will do first we will draw a box how much is that 76 76 right so i can take 38 i can take uh, 30 and 8 i can cut 30 uh, 38 38 twice or if you want to take 70 full 50 60 you want to draw that you want to take 78 you can do that also height is how much height is 40 so you take 0 to 40 this the one which is on 30 degree we'll take that distance we'll cut over here now first we will draw circle now circle will appear as an ellipse in isometric so what we will draw we will use four center method first we will draw longest diagonal we'll mark midpoint midpoint from wherever angle is more than 90 see from this corner we'll join this see there are see there are two angles the, these two are angle more than uh, sorry these two are angle less, less than 90 so we can't draw a line from here first you draw longest diagonal then you mark midpoint of all the four sides right then from well, from this side or from this side, any 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 one corner, you join to the opposite corner. This is this angle is more than ninety. So from there, from from that point to this point M, you can draw a line. Now from this point, let's say one, one to M, you can draw a curve. This is point two. From two to M, you can draw a curve. Same radius. Now this is point three. Now take three to M, and you can draw a curve. This is point 4, 4 to M and you can draw curve. Now after this, the same thing we have to take it down. So how much you have to go down? We have to go down by 40. So you take 40, 40, this is the already there. Right? Now you take this radius, see this, 3 to M and draw it over here. 4 to M and you draw it over here. 1 to M and you draw it over here. And you draw tangent. So we are done with the cylindrical portion, right? Now what we need to do, we need to draw this pentagon. This is a pentagonal pyramid. So what we will do, first we'll find out the center. So to find this center, see that's why I was saying LBH, right? But what we can do in this, now I'm erasing this. So it will be easier for you to see. In exam, you don't erase. 
you have to retain all the lines now this is a point right center and this is my center for pentagon now what i have to do one side is parallel to vpn away from observer so when you see from here this is 30 30 right now see this what i will do i will take this distance let's say this is point uh, o right o to s and o to t i'm like i'm just writing randomly o to s and o to t so what i will do from here i will mark o to s and here i will mark o to t now from t you can draw horizontal line so that will be parallel to this take this distance how much it would be? See, the total length is how much? 32. So it will be 16, 16. So you can mark 16 here, 16 here. Now we have this point. Now we need to mark these two points also. So either you draw again this box, LBH, L and B box you draw, or I'll give you one more idea where what you can do, you join this line. So ST, let's say this is P, O to P join this to this so you'll get point p on this line so you mark that point p on this line and you draw parallel to 30 degree all of you got this on os you will get p you just draw horizontal line over here in helping diagram take o to p and you cut over here now you take this distance let's say this is uh, one and two so take p to one cut over here p to 2 you cut over here so you'll get pentagon right after that how much is the axis 50 height of the pentagonal thing is 50 so you go 50 up and then you can join this much you can see Right? This is axis. You can show axis. They are very particular about axis. So please show axis properly. The remaining portion which you can see will be dark. Right? We can do dimensioning. This is diameter 76. This is height. How much is the height? 40. Side of the pentagon is 32. And height of the pentagon is 50. Okay, all of you got this?